Alright guys, uh, so today I'm going to be going over a trick known as twisting the aces and um, if you haven't already noticed I actually posted a tutorial for this trick a while ago but uh, it was so bad I figured um, that I'd redo it so um, anyways to start off basically I'm just going to be taking the aces and flipping them over uh, one at a time but obviously not like this would be a little bit boring so what I'm going to do is give the deck or the pack a little bit of a twist and you can see now one of the aces should reveal itself there is the ace of diamonds and if I give it another twist like this, the second ace, the ace of clubs, should now reveal itself in the pack. And uh, just like that, we've already had two cards flip themselves over. And if I give the pack just another twist like this, here comes a third ace, the ace of hearts. And to be honest with you, um, the hardest card uh, to do, obviously, is the ace of spades. So you can see if I give the deck only one twist, you can see now there's no ace from the deck, no ace of spades flipped over. And if I just give it two twists now the ace of spades should finally reveal itself so um, I hope you guys like the trick this is twisting the aces and uh, if you guys want to learn how to do it don't forget to stick around for the tutorial alright so here's how you guys can do the trick um, to start off you, the only thing that you actually need are the four aces which is uh, really cool there's no gimmicks involved so uh, this is actually a really really cool uh, you know impromptu card trick but uh, anyways, you take the four aces out of the deck, and you actually need to have them in a specific order. So you want to make sure the top card of the packet here is the ace of clubs. And then second down, you want to have any red card. And then uh, in the third position, you're going to have to um, have the ace of spades in the third position, and then any red card. The, the order of the red aces, it doesn't really matter, but you just want to make sure they're interlacing, and you want to make sure the ace of clubs is on top. So at this point, um, you can go up to the spectators and tell them that you were going to take the aces and you were going to flip them over in, um, in a little bit of a usual way. Not like this, obviously, because that would be uh, a little bit boring. So, you know, as you say that to the spectators, what you want to do is a triple lift. So obviously you have the ace of spades in the third position. You just want to come over here with your thumb and kind of just bend the cards a little bit. And by bending them, it makes it easy to come over here with your pinky and just take down that little bottom card like that. And from here, you can take the three cards, and don't worry about the thickness of the packet. Just real casually, just flip them over like this, and say you're going to flip over the aces, uh, but you're not going to do it like this because it'd be boring. So, as you tell spectators that um, if you flip them over like this, it'd be boring. What you're going to do is a wrist kill because you want to conceal uh, these face-up cards, um, and you're going to take the single ace of spades, say, and then tell spectators you're going to flip it back over, and then you're going to say that you can twist the deck and then you show them that one of them is face up but um, this entire trick is actually pretty much just Elm's account so I'm going to leave a tutorial for that up here so you guys can see it and then uh, the first thing you do is a completely regular Elm's account and at this point this is what the cards look like so from here you do your first Elm's account you show them they have the ace of hearts face up it's a completely normal Elm's account nothing really uh, funny going on here and then you say that you're going to give the deck another twist and you can see another card has reappeared and you can show them that the ace of clubs is here and now when you get to the ace of clubs you don't put the last card back on top you want to put this to the bottom so that's this way the ace of clubs is face up on top of the deck and then from here you have to do uh, one more um, triple lift so go ahead get a little pinky break at the bottom and when you flip over this ace of clubs um, don't be like don't, don't say that you're going to okay now I'm just going to flip over the ace of clubs you don't want to say that because remember at the beginning of the trick you told the spectators that you were going to flip over the aces um, you know in a different kind of way so it would it wouldn't really make sense if you flip over the ace like that um, you know at this point in the trick so you really just want to be be real casual just say okay so watch if I give the deck another twist and you know just like that I'd have a triple lift and I really didn't bring any attention to it so at this point you can just give the deck a twist and then you do a regular Elms account and there should be the, the face-up Ace of Diamonds. You come over, you do your Elms account, and you just count it off. And again, once more, you want to put um, this top card again. You're not going to replace it to the top. You're going to put it to the bottom again. And from here, you can actually spread the cards and show the spectators that the Ace of Diamonds is the only uh, face-up card in the packet. So from here, you're going to just kind of out-jog it, take it out of the group, flash it around, and as you're doing that, you're just going to tell spectators that, you know, the, um, the Ace of Spades is actually the hardest card to, um, you know, flip over and whatnot. And as you're kind of saying that, misdirecting them, you're going to push over the top card, which is actually the Ace of Spades, and you're going to place the red card back on top, and then pick it up from the break. So, you have the two-card break, you have the Ace of Spades, you have the two-card break, and you pick it up. Now, what you're going to do here 
is actually just flip over um, these two cards real casually. So it's kind of hard to do in slow motion, but you're just going to take these two cards, flip them over, and you can spread them out like this. Make sure it kind of looks like all these cards are face up. You know, you're showing them this whole array of, you know, face up cards. And then you just drop the two card packet right back on top of the deck, flip it over, and say, watch. With just one spin, the Ace of Spades won't reveal itself. So then from here, you do a completely normal Elms account. There's nothing funny with it. You just do a completely normal count. And it looks like there's no um, Ace of Spades. So again, you say watch. I need to give this two twists. You give it two twists. You go into a normal count. You have the uh, Ace of Spades. You show the spectators that all the cards are face down except for one. And then, uh, you know, guys, this is a really cool trick. Um, it's completely impromptu. Uh, I hope you guys like it. And as always, thanks for watching.